welcome to Virtual Tiny Talk Time. Even though our library is closed, it doesn't mean we can't have some fun. Since you can't come to the library, I thought I'd bring the library to you. We're going to start off Tiny Talk Time with our hello song, and it goes like this. We clap and sing hello, we clap and sing hello, with all our friends at story time. We clap and sing hello, we wave and sing hello, we wave and sing hello, with all our friends at story time. We wave and sing hello, we stomp and sing hello, we stomp and sing hello, with all our friends at story time. We stomp and sing hello. The next song that we always sing is called Open Shut Them. Are you ready? It's from the website Jayberry. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them, right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not put them in. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap, lap, lap. The next thing I have is my first book. It's called Wild About Books, and it was written by Judy Sierra, and the pictures are by Mark Brown. And we'd like to say thank you to Penguin Random House for allowing us to read this aloud. Wild About Books It started the summer of 2002 when the Springfield librarian, Molly McGrew, by mistake drove her bookmobile into the zoo. Molly opened the door and she let down the stair, turned on the computer, and sat in her chair. At first, all the animals watched from a distance, but Molly could conquer the strongest resistance. By reading aloud from the good Dr. Seuss, she quickly attracted a mink and a moose, a wombat and oryx, a lemur, a lynx, eight elephant calves, and a family of skinks. In a flash, every beast in the zoo was stampeding to learn all about this new something called reading. Forsaking their niches, their nests, and their nooks, they went wild, simply wild, about wonderful books. Choosing thin books and fat books and cat-in-the-hat books and new books and true books and heaps of how-to books. Giraffes wanted tall books and crickets craved small books, while geckos could only read stick-to-the-wall books. The pandas demanded more books in Chinese. Molly filled their requests, always eager to please. She even found waterproof books for the otter, who never went swimming without Harry Potter. Raccoons read alone, and baboons read in bunches, and llamas read dramas while eating their lunches. Hyenas shared jokes with the red-bellied snakes, and they howled and they hissed till their funny bones ached. A tree kangaroo who adored Nancy Drew began solving mysteries right there at the zoo, such as, why were the bandicoots books overdue? Gently Molly taught lessons in treating books right, for the boa constrictor squeezed crypter too tight. Baby bunnies mucked up Goodnight Moon with their paws. Giant termites devoured the Wizard of Oz. And Bear's love of books was completely outrageous. They licked all the pictures right off of the pages. Tasmanian devils found books so exciting that soon they had given up fighting for writing. They made up adventures so thrilling and new that the others decided to be authors too. Pythons wrote with their tails, penguins wrote with their bills, and porcupines wrote with their very own quills. At the new insect zoo, bugs were scribbling haiku. The scorpion gave each a stinging review. Walking stick, 
A cannibal twig silently devours a leaf, eating, not eaten. Pretentious. Dung beetle. Roll a ball of dung. Any kind of poo will do. Baby beetle bed. Stinks. Millipede. I dig for treasure in my enchanted castle, a rotten apple. Boring. Giant hissing cockroach. Hiss, 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 hiss. Hiss, 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 hiss. Hiss, 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 hiss. Redundant. As the cheetah's new novel began to take shape, he read chapters each night to the Barbary ape. And although the gazelle couldn't spell very well, like everyone else, she had stories to tell. Imagine the hippo's enormous surprise when her memoir was given the Zulitzer Prize. With so many new books, Molly knew what to do. She hired 12 beavers, a stork and a new to build a branch library there at the zoo. Then the animals cried, we can do it ourselves. We can check the books out. We can put them on shelves. And they did, and they do, up to this very day. Three cheers for the zoobrary. Hip, hip, hooray. When you visit the zoo now, you surely won't mind if the animals seem just a bit hard to find. They're snug in their niches, their nest in their nooks. Going wild, simply wild about wonderful books. The end. The next thing we do at Tiny Tot Time is the Itsy Bitsy Spider because it almost always rains on Thursday during Tiny Tot Time. Are you ready? The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. The next thing I have, if you're interested, is a book from the library about the library. It's called Lola at the Library, and you can get this through Tumble Books on our website. You just go to Tumble Books and type in Lola at the Library, and it's a video, so it will read the book to you. And afterwards, there's a fun game to play. Next, we're going to do a song called Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes. And you guys can stand up if you want to, but I'm going to stay sitting down. And we're going to do all three verses. Are you ready? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. We're going to do that one really fast. One more time, okay? Ready? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. We're going to do first number two. And it goes like this. The tummies, arms and chin, arms and chin. The tummies, arms and chin, arms and chin. Eyes and ears and mouth and shins. The tummies, arms and chin, arms and chin. And verse number three goes like this. Hands, fingers, legs, and lips, legs, and lips. Hands, fingers, legs, and lips, legs, and lips. Eyes and ears and mouth and hips. Hands, fingers, legs, and lips, legs, and lips. All right, good job. We're not going to do that one fast because I have a hard enough time doing it slowly. The next thing we're going to do is a flannel board. And it's from a website called Library Village, and it's based on a book by Eric Kimmel, and it's called I Took My Frog to the Library. I took my frog to the library, but he jumped on the checkout desk and scared the librarian. I took my chicken to the library, but she laid an egg by the computers. 
I took my pelican to the library, but he hid books in his beak. I took my snake to the library, but she shed her skin all over the picture books. I took my giraffe to the library, but he tried to read over everybody's shoulder. I took my hyena to the library, but he laughed so loud during story time, no one could hear the stories. I took my elephant to the library, and she was so well behaved. She stacked her books in a neat pile on the checkout desk, she asked the librarian whenever she needed help, and during story time, she listened quietly and left in all the right places. But my elephant was big, so big, so big that she wrecked the library. And the librarian said to me, Bridget, you know you're always welcome at the library, but the next time that you come, could you please leave all of your animals at home? So now when I go to the library, my frog stays home, and my chicken stays home, and my pelican stays home, my snake stays home, my giraffe stays home, my hyena stays home, and my elephant stays home, and she reads a story to all of them. Next, I have another book, and it's called Book, Book, Book. It was written by Deborah Brush and illustrated by Tiffany Beek, and we'd like to say thank you to Scholastic for allowing us to read this aloud. Book, book, book. Down at the farm, all was well until the children went back to school and the animals had nothing to do. They had no rides to share, no tug of war to play, no one to scratch behind their ears or ruffle their feathers. In the bright morning sun, the horse hung his head, the cow complained, the goat grumbled, the pig pouted, the duck dozed off, and the hen <sighs> heaved a sigh. Long about noon, with the sun high above the barnyard, the hen squawked, I'm bored and I'm heading to town to find something to do. The animals followed her down the road. Look, clucked the hen, happy faces. This must be the place we're looking for. I'll go in and see if I can find something to do. Nay, nay, whinnied the horse. You're too small for such a big job. Leave it to me. The horse clip clocked in. Politely, he asked for something to do, but the librarian couldn't understand the horse, and all she heard was, nay, nay. So the horse hung his head and clip-clopped out. Next, the cow plodded in. Politely, she asked for something to do, but the librarian could not understand the cow. All she heard was, moo, moo. So the cow complained and plodded out. Now it was the goat's turn. He trotted in. Politely, he asked for something to do, but the librarian could not understand the goat. All she heard was, bah, bah, so the goat grumbled and trotted out again. Slowly, the pig ambled into the library. Politely, she asked for something to do, but all the librarian heard was, oink, oink, so the pig ambled out to tell her friends. Up flapped the hen, and she announced, I'm going in, and no one's going to stop me. Into the library, she flapped. Book, clucked the hen politely. The librarian looked around and said, what's that noise? Book, book, clucked the hen. The librarian scratched her head. Who's that, she asked. Book, 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 clucked the hen quite clearly. Oh, is this what you want, asked the librarian, and she handed the hen three books. Back at the farm, the horse, the cow, the goat, the pig, the duck, and the hen gathered around the books. The barnyard was filled with nays, moos, baas, oinks, quacks, and book, book, books. Their sounds of delight lasted until sundown. All the animals were happy, except for the bullfrog. And do you know what he said? 
I already read it, read it, read it, read it. The end. The next thing we have is a song, and it's from the website Jaybrary, and it's called Old MacDonald Had a Band. And I kind of had to scramble around my house to get some things because this has some props to it. The first thing you need is a shaker. I made mine out of a little cup with some paper clips in it. Then you need some rhythm sticks. I'm using wooden spoons. Then you need a scarf, which I got out of my closet. But if you don't have a scarf, you could use a towel or some socks. And the last thing you need are some bells. Lucky for me, I haven't put all my Christmas decorations away. So the song goes like this. Old MacDonald had a band, E-I-E-I-O. And in this band, he had some shakers, E-I-E-I-O. With a shake, shake here and a shake, shake there. Here, shake, there, shake, everywhere. Shake, shake, old MacDonald had a band, E-I-E-I-O. And in this band, he had some rhythm sticks, E-I-E-I-O. With a tap, tap here and a tap, tap there. Here, tap, there, tap, everywhere, tap, tap. Old MacDonald had a band, E-I-E-I-O. And in this band, he had some scarves, E-I-E-I-O. With a wave, wave here and a wave, wave there. Here, wave, there, wave, everywhere, wave, wave. Old MacDonald had a band, E-I-E-I-O. And in his band, he had some bells, E-I-E-I-O. With a ring, ring here and a ring, ring there. Here, ring, there, ring, everywhere, ring, ring. Old MacDonald had a band, E-I-E-I-O. And the next thing I have are two scarf songs. So you'll need your scarf again. The first one's called the popcorn song. It goes like this. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. I'm going to do that one one more time. Popcorn kernels, pop. Corn kernels in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. And the next one is from a website called Getting Giggles. And it's called Dance Your Scarves Up. Are you ready? Dance your scarves up and dance your scarves down. Dance them to the side and dance them all around. Dance them on your shoulder and dance them on your head. Dance them on your tummy and put them all to bed. The next thing that we usually do at Tiny Top Time is a craft. So I thought of one that you guys can do at home. I made some bookmarks. And for my bookmarks, I used some index cards, but you can use any kind of paper that you have at home. Construction paper, or card stock, or notebook paper. And then I found some crayons and some markers and some colored pencils. You can use any of those. And some stickers and a stamp. So this one I put some star stickers on and I said, I love books. And this one says, Reading makes me smile, and I put some smiley face stickers on it. And this one is a hedgehog holding a heart, so I wrote, I heart books. You can use those in your library books then. The last thing we do at Tiny Top Time is dance, but I didn't bring any music home with me, so we can't do that today. But if you're looking for a great musical break, you can check out the Lori Berkner Band on her Facebook page. Almost every morning at 9 o'clock, she does a little concert. So if you like to dance, you might want to check that out. Anybody who's been to Tiny Tot Time will know my favorite song is by Lori Berkner. And do you remember what it's called? I'll give you a hint. Pig on her head! Okay, and the last thing that we have to do at Tiny Tot Time is our goodbye song. It goes like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. 
We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.